at home with Lucas here. So today we're going to be talking about Free Village. They make a portable ice maker that makes nugget chewable ice. Yes, people. In a 24 hour period, you can make 40 some odd pounds of this ice, but you have to keep adding water to it. But that's a lot of pounds of ice. So if you're having a party and you want to entertain and you want to have people enjoying this chewable nugget ice, this is the one to buy, or at least that's what they hope. So in this video, we're doing a hands-on with the box, quick unboxing and first impressions on said portable ice maker. After that, I'm gonna be putting this bad boy to the Adam Lucas test to figure out is it something you should buy or maybe skip altogether. I'm here for you, so I don't have to waste your time buying and returning. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's go ahead and walk around this bad boy right quick. So up the front here, you have the power slash clean button. You got a display right here. This is darker blue in real life. It's a little bit lighter on camera. You got your timer right here. This is made out of some textured plastic. This is made out of smooth plastic. And then this is made out of some really nice brushed metal look. So that's kind of cool. On the side over here, you have your fan to keep everything nice and cool. This is very similar to a computer right here. On the back, you have a little bit more information on this bad boy right here. Then you have the power cable. I think the power cable is just over five feet, which is really nice. Back here, you have all the vents and everything so that the coolant can, uh, or the refrigerant, I should say, can stay nice and cool. Up here at the top, you have your clear glass to see all your ice being made. And you have two little spots to open this door right here. So you flip that open. Inside here, you have your ice scoop. Then you have your tray where all the ice is gonna fall into. And then you could take this tray out, of course. And then that's where you're gonna put all your water to make the ice that goes in that little port. This is made out of some slightly cheap plastic. It's definitely a little bit more flimsy than I would like. The hinge up here also feels a tiny bit flimsy. When I push back on it like this, it just feels a little bit weak close that down, but um, it, it'll probably hold up as long as you don't have kids who are gonna mess around with it. This definitely feels like the weakest point of the whole thing. Okay, I'm gonna be using my reverse osmosis water system right here. I'm gonna fill this up, and then I'll just simply take this over and fill up the entire ice maker. All right, there we go, right at the max fill line. That is perfect. One thing to take note of is the water that you put in here will directly affect the taste of your ice. So if you put in regular tap water, it's gonna taste like tap water. If you put in filtered water like I did, you're gonna get really good quality ice. We're gonna put the ice basket back into here. We're gonna power this thing on, shut the lid. Whoa. And there it goes, it has just turned on. Fan is working. You got this really funny animation going on here. That is spinning very slowly back there. And it just started dumping out some ice, so here we go. We got our ice cubes down in there. They're just slowly spinning out of here. You can see them being made. Right, cha. Those are nuggets of heaven right there, people. All right, there we go. It is completely full. This is what it looks like up top. Very nice, full of nuggets. Okay, one thing that I'm super impressed with is that this is not clumping at all. Like no matter how long it sits in here, it's not sticking together. All of the ice is completely staying separated. And my last ice maker, everything at the bottom down here would completely clump together and it would just become one giant clump. This one is doing such a good job of not clumping at all. I am totally blown away. Another thing that I really like is this scoop right here can just sit on the side just like that. There's enough room up here between the handle and the door that it completely can sit out of the way. My last one was straight down, so there was no extra room up top 
for you to put your scoop like that. So that's really, really cool. I'm definitely liking that a lot. Now we're going to do the real world test. We're going to take these red cups right here, party cups. And we're going to see how many of these we can fill up with ice. We're going to put one scoop in per cup. Scoop number one. Scoop number two. Scoop number three. Scoop number 10. Scoop number 20. Okay, there we go. You can see there's ice in 21 of these. Now, some of them are a little bit less, some of them are a little bit more, but that's how you're gonna do it at a party. You're not gonna be measuring it out exactly, but these are all one scoop basically in here. And there you go, you can see the wide shot. So that would definitely do an entire party, um, unless you have more people and there's still some ice in there you could probably do another cup plus there's still some coming out of here so you might get a couple more cups but that is basically all the ice in a visual okay now we're gonna do the soda challenge or the soda test we're gonna fill this full of ice load it up with soda and see how good it actually tastes All right, so it's floating at the top. It's looking more like regular broken ice. All right, let's give it the sip review. Oh, that is refreshing, people. That is very refreshing. Mm. Ice cold. The ice has barely melted at all. That is room temperature soda passing the ice test. And if you get a little bit of ice in your mouth, you can enjoy the nugget chew, people. Woo, that is delicious. Okay, here we go. We're gonna make some iced coffee. Right, let's give it the sip review. It has a very authentic iced coffee taste. Okay, here we go. We're gonna be putting this to the alcohol test. So I got some bourbon right here. All right, there we go. I didn't want to load it up with too much ice. So that is room temperature bourbon right there in this glass. And let's go ahead and take a look. It seems to be holding. Not bad, let's get a closer look down here. Yeah, I can hear it crackling. So it's definitely breaking down this ice. Let's give it the ice test, people. So this is just straight up ice in the cup. Once again, this is coming out of my reverse osmosis water system. So if you have a water filtration system, it should taste very, very similar to that water. Of course, if it's a good ice maker, it's not gonna have any weird funky taste that's gonna transfer. So let's just give it the straight up ice test. Wow, that is so good. It's so close to nugget ice. It's incredible. It really does break up super easy in your mouth. So if you're someone who loves to chew on ice, this is definitely the maker for you. It is a hundred times better than anything that's gonna come out of a refrigerator ice maker. Um, and there's no added taste. Wow. Mm. That is incredible. It just has a slight refrigerator taste. So if you've ever taken anything out of the refrigerator, whether you had something uh, that you're keeping in there, like a soda or something with ice in it, and you take a drink of it, it just has a slight refrigerator taste or ice taste to it. Uh, but it's very crisp. One thing I do like is that the nuggets never stick together. So it's really quite amazing that 
No matter how long these sit in here, the nuggets will never form into one pile of ice. They will always be a single nugget that will stay true to its size and shape, which is actually really, really cool. It's almost five stars. I'm gonna give it a 4.9 star out of five. My sister took a crunch of this, if you will, <laughs> and she was like, that's the best ice I've ever had. And she doesn't have any reason to lie to me and tell me anything that's not true. So she's a big ice fan and she said, this is five out of five stars. Okay, I've been using this thing for long enough that I think I have a full comprehensive review and let's just start off with the functionality of it. So this thing does a phenomenal job. It really makes ice fairly quickly and it keeps it cool for quite some time. I've actually come in here and looked at the ice that's been sitting for a while and I'm like, wow, it does not clump together. They figured out some way to make the ice really really so close to being nugget ice it's unbelievable so that's absolutely amazing it's perfect eating ice so if you're someone who loves to eat ice you're gonna be blown away by this ice maker uh the build quality is actually really good the hinges up here have held up perfectly i think it was a little bit more picky in the unboxing hands-on it's actually um pretty solid plastic and it's tinted a little bit and it looks amazing if you put it underneath a cabinet that has some lights it really does a good job of looking really premium and i really like it a lot um, it's not very loud it's definitely like a loud coffee maker so if you're someone who is uh, sensitive to noise that's basically what you're going to get it's not going to be too crazy the ability to set a timer is awesome i love that factor you can just simply set it uh, to whatever you want and then it's going to use the timer feature. Uh, the clean feature is super easy to use. Um, you won't have to do that for quite some time. The ability to just fill this up and let it run 24 seven, you could do that. I've done that. <laughs> I've let this thing run. And what happens is when the ice melts a little bit down into the bottom, it'll then shoot back out the top here with fresh frozen ice which is really cool so all in all i'm going to give this thing a solid 4.6 star rating i'm going to say it's highly recommended to everyone out there buy it all right, there you go. That's the Free Village Portable Ice Maker. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click and clack that like button. And if you want to join the Adam Lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 6K. Yes, people, on my way to 7K, but I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family. This guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Even my little boy loves them. He says, give me more nuggies. Yeah, so absolutely amazing, really fresh, really refreshing, great ice maker.